Hi, I'm Ryan Kaplan from Pressure Bomb Express, and today I'm going to show you how to properly pressure bomb some Kerman pistachios. The first step of the process is you're going to want to take your readings between noon and 4 p.m. This is the ideal time because the trees will be under the most stress of the day, and that's when you're going to want to go out and do your pressure bombing. So once you find your ideal location, you're going to take samples of five trees in that area. You're going to do three trees in one row, move over one row, and do two trees. So we're going to go along and we're going to find the ideal tree. You want a tree that's representative of the rest of the orchard, a healthy, strong tree, and you want to find a branch that isn't sick. The next step is you're going to use these foil baggies provided by the pressure bomb company that you buy your unit, and you're going to take these baggies and you're going to put them over the leaves that you select, and you're going to leave them for 10 minutes. The foil baggies are going to allow the leaves to equalize with the trunk of the tree, and you're going to get accurate stem water potential readings each time. So right here is a perfect example of the leaves that you're going to want to choose on a pistachio tree. We have to use the larger foil baggie on pistachios because each petiole tends to usually have three leaves on it. So unlike a walnut tree where you use one leaf and one petiole, on the pistachio it's a little more tricky. You're going to have to take these two outside leaves and fold them in nice and gently to where you have a nice stem petiole sticking out the top. If you push on them too hard and crack the stem, it's going to give you a false reading and you're going to show more stress than there actually is. So you want to be gentle and gently fold them over. Then you're going to take your bag, which has a Ziploc feature on the inside of it, and you'll take these three leaves and slip them into the baggie. Once inside, you'll close down the Ziploc baggie from the outside in, being really careful not to cinch down on the petiole and cause a crack. But once it's on there, that's perfect. You'll leave it for 10 minutes and you'll come back and take your reading. So from here, we'll move on to the next tree and we'll find another healthy branch. You don't wanna to take too close to the trunk. I tend to take about halfway out from the trunk to the outside of the canopy we'll find a nice leaf cluster, like this one right here. It has a nice long stem petiole. We'll do the same thing, fold over the leaves nice and gently as to not hurt the stem. Then close the Ziploc from the outside in. Once it's hanging like this, you have a perfect stem to come back and clip when you're ready to take your pressure bomb reading. After your pistachio bags have been hung for 10 minutes, it's time to go collect them. So the key to the pistachio is there's not a whole lot of stem here, so you need to make sure you cut as much stem as possible. So when you come in, take your razor blade, get as far up the stem as possible, and make your cut. Once you have this, you can move on and collect. I like to collect three of them, go back and pressure bomb those three, and then once those are done, I move to the next row, collect the next two, and pressure bomb those it's best to not have them sitting around too long before you pressure bomb them. So at this point, we'll take them, we'll head back, and we'll start pressure bombing. All right, so at this point, we're gonna start pressure bombing the pistachio leaf. The pistachios are the trickiest leaf to pressure bomb, in my opinion. But the main thing is we need to first make sure we get enough stem that we can get it into the pressure bomb unit. So first, I'm gonna take my razor blade. I'm gonna set the stem on a flat surface, make a clean cut with a razor blade, and it makes it a lot easier when you start taking your reading, easier to see when the water comes out. The pistachio is probably the trickiest tree to pressure bomb because you have to take into account that you have to deal with the phloem on this tree. So at this point, I'll, you'll remove the lid and I like to fold in the edges of the bag here 
when we fold in the edges of the bag, it makes a triangle, it makes it easier to guide the stem into the cap. So once you've done that, you remove the cap. It has an O-ring inside. The top black piece is the piece you turn to the right to tighten the O-ring, turn to the left to loosen up the O-ring. So at this point, you'll take the stem, stick it through the O-ring on the back side when it's coming through the other side. Then this is a tricky part that you'll get better at over time. You need to tighten the black part of the cap down till the O-ring grips around the stem. Once you have a good grip on the stem, then you're ready to transfer the leaf into the chamber. The issue with the pistachio leaf is the foil bag and the leaves are a little bit big for the chamber, so you have to do an additional step and you have to kind of fold the bag up a little bit, being careful not to damage the leaf or the stem inside. Now once you do that, then you can guide it down into the chamber, being careful to not get a piece of the foil bag caught between the lid and the chamber. If you do it right, you won't get it caught. If it gets caught in there, when you start putting nitrogen into the chamber, it'll make a loud hissing noise, and you know that there's either a foil bag caught between the two, or you haven't tightened the O-ring down tight enough, and nitrogen is escaping through the O-ring. So if you've done it right, this is what should happen. Now at this point, you'll use your magnifying glass, and you'll take a look at the stem, there's a little bit of phloem built up on there, so I like to use either a piece of my undershirt to wipe it off or a rag or Q-tip or anything that works, get it cleaned. The issue with the phloem on a pistachio is when you start putting pressure on the leaf, you'll start to see a milky white substance coming out early when there's just a little bit of pressure on there, and that's phloem. So you need to wipe it off and keep watching. If there's more phloem, wipe it off, keep watching and when clear water starts coming out of the tip of the leaf, that's when you take your reading. So it's a little tricky, but at this point, we'll take a look at the leaf under the magnifying glass, turn on the valve, start letting nitrogen flow into the chamber. You'll watch the tip, as well as looking to the left to look at how many bars are building. Kind of a constant back and forth. If there's phloem, Take and wipe it off, then keep going, looking back and forth. Okay, now we have clear liquid coming out the top, building a bubble on the surface with some bubbles bubbling up in it. That's when you'll stop the nitrogen flow and you'll take your reading. So then you would take your bar reading, you would either write it down on your manual input form, take it to the office, plug it into the Pressure Bomb Express program, or you use your cell phone and then put it into this field, this location you're taking your readings, and you're ready to move on. After you've done that, then you can exhaust off the pressure in the chamber. And once the, the gauge goes down to zero, you're ready to release the cap, loosen up the top, and take out your leaf and move on to the next one. If you release the cap before the pressure is removed, it will blow the top off. So you really need to be careful. Make sure you exhaust off pressure before you remove the cap. But that's basically how you pressure bomb a pistachio. Make sure you don't take your reading when there's the milky white substance coming out. That's phloem. Wait until it's clear, and then you'll get an accurate reading.